everybody. Uh, you know, one of the things that I'd like to, to talk about, if I can do it, um, <laughs> we said we were going to say a little bit about ourselves. Okay. But I want to say a little bit about you two. <laughs> and uh, that's your surprise. <laughs> uh, I, want, I want to say that Jane Ann is uh, very, very few women that I meet that has the intensity of motherhood and caring <laughs> that she does. And I feel privileged to be a part of this team. And then there's Ellen. <laughs> and Ellen, I wouldn't be doing anything if it wasn't for Ellen. Uh, Ellen, Ellen, inspires, Amen. Ellen Amen. inspires me to do everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm a he's partner. doing 700 things and I'm doing one and I'm thinking, okay, I need to do more. But, but the intensity of her spirituality and yours, Jane Ann, um, it's, I have never met anybody that is in that same category that I feel that I am. Um, it's kind of hard and it finally dawned on me. You're both prophets <laughs> and prophets and prophets uh, naturally are going to love each other. Um, and, and that's yeah. kind of exciting to me. I don't think I've ever had this before where, where I felt that kind of a, a, a sisterhood spiritually like this. So I feel privileged. Thank you, June. Thank you. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Pause and Jane Ann, Ellen. Uh, okay, do you want me to speak now? If you want to. <laughs> Okay. You can pass it on to Ellen too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel the same way. I'm, I'm saying kudos to what Juna said because Ellen, I, we would not be here doing this if it was not for you and also your husband you, to Dad. empathize you. <laughs> it just, I, I'm, I just, I'm blessed. I mean, I'm, I just, especially when I'm going through just motherhood as far as like with teens right now. And I just, <laughs> I, they, they've done it. I can do it too. <laughs> so the encouragement, yeah, I just, y'all are my, y'all are it for me. I have nobody here <laughs> besides my husband, but you know, I got to have women. That's right. So, yes, yes. See, I figured so, out how this I'm, works, guys. This is on the tape. When June speaks, she's big. When you speak, you're big. And when I speak, I'm still little, honey. <laughs> How do I do it? How do I, like, when you speak, watch. Do you talk? Okay. See? It doesn't big. come up for me, but it does for you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. So we know I don't have to push the button. Okay. I want to say something. Ooh. I want to just thank the Lord for his, um, his ability to, to call together people from all different ages and stages of life, all yes. different places in the country and all different cultures like Jane Ann was raised in, and um, some, I was raised with my northern parents, and I was raised in the south, my northern parents, and then you were raised, June, and? I was raised in uh, the middle of the south, which brothers fought brothers in Maryland, uh, and my parents were from the north. And so, um, you know, that kind of is a thing where I don't feel like I fit anywhere in that kind of a way, but I guess I fit more in the South because I was raised there. And everywhere, you fit everywhere. That's the beauty of all. And Jane Ann, when you were raised? In Alabama. See, so we have a representative so much, and I wanna thank June because next week when we do WOW Radio for our first time, June's gonna lead us. And I hope every week is a surprise. We thank you for honoring us, but we wanna honor you as well, June. You are a dynamic woman. I always t say, you know, you don't always say, I'm not sitting on the air, <laughs> but I think of you as a senior with life, just like me, with life, full of life. And uh, I always tell J June every time, and my friend Ann Che, she has that signature smile. As um, on the radio show we did before, they would say about her that her, she just, her smile makes you feel, I mean, her voice, her voice, but I think it's your smile when you see you makes you feel like you are welcoming. And that's what Jane Ann is to me, to welcoming women. And we're gonna be women of wisdom because yes. in Titus 2, it says that um, the older woman will teach the younger woman. We thought we we're in our 20s, at least me, and have raising little ones. I never thought I'd be one of the older women, but I did look up to them and I needed them in my life. And that's why June and I and Jane Ann are doing this show to be women of wisdom and also to help you come alive. 
because so many Christians are going another day I have diapers and dishes and some of you are going like oh I've been walking with the Lord so long what am I supposed to do with my life but we're going to help you to see why women need to come alive and when you're full of life then you know that that God is because he brings life he says I am the way and the truth of life and the only way the father is through me what do y'all think uh, you know I think what I am here to do uh, is to uh, say to grandmothers how important they are, mm. the power they have with their grandchildren, the power they have with their families, and that we can, we can, um, we shouldn't buy that we are dead and gone because we're not. And because we have the wisdom to share with everyone, I think that we should do that. And my generation likes to think that they're perfect and don't ever say anything that they did wrong. And so I plan on saying things that I did wrong and how that I could have changed that if I had have known. And I think that that's important too. I think the things that I've done good and the things that I've done bad, and I think that is important for inner healing for all of us. That's great. And Jane Ann's actually a grandmother as well, Jane Ann, right? So she's got yes. wisdom. She has to show her great hair. I don't know why either. A new grandmother. But now what happened to June? On, on, on my end, it looks like she's not on there anymore. She's on mine, like right next to you. But I don't know why. I don't see myself okay. big. She's right, June. Can you see her? We don't have her glasses okay, now on. I did. Can you see me now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it works. Yeah, this is a modern world. We're just there's a magic wand. <laughs> I know, Jesus doesn't bring a magic wand, really. But the thing is, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Go, this, Jenny. I'm, I'm so excited because when we talked about this, I don't know. I just, I, I really want to share this on this. Wow, that um, really just I think this uh, the season in my life, and I just have to share where I'm at, and that's. Uh, having like setting goals and my word for the year is intentional because i have so many age children that i have to be intentional because if i'm not then i'll just wander through diaper and not diapers but dish well yeah because i have a grandbaby so <laughs> i'll wander through and then not really you know so for me that's really what i want to share is about getting your goals down and ellen and g y'all have taught me that and so I feel like this year is the first time that this is really, I'm really living intentionally. So the, I wanna share like seven areas about setting goals and just helping women to realize that even when they're in the, when they have all the different age groups like I do still, cause my youngest is six. So just how to be intentional and live so that you can be fruitful and live life in abundance you know what jesus has died on the cross for us for yes yes so that's what i my heart and then you know the ups and the downs with that especially with teenagers yes sometimes you win sometimes you learn uh <laughs> that's a good that's good. sometimes you don't want to <laughs> then, but you do anyways um june i was gonna say to the audience that we're gonna have this show once a week we had originally said friday's at 10 but I say tomorrow's Friday 10. We can't do Friday 10. So we're going to brainstorm and that's going to be on YouTube and we'll let, and on Facebook, we'll let you know when the first show will be, because I think the two thirty slot is better because it's not early in the morning. And I was wrong about picking 10 and I was wrong about picking Friday. So what do you all think? Just pray and get back with me through email or text. Okay. That'll be I on the thing to remind that. us. So do you are leading the show right now? Tell us, tell the audience what some of the things we'll be talking about each week. We'll have a different host. One June, then Jane Ann, then I in a rotation. And what are some things we'll be talking about in the show from your perspective? Well, from my perspective, I think that we're gonna be um, uh, maybe sharing books that we've read that are really great. Yes. Uh, I think we uh, will have maybe a topic like uh, our next topic will be on fear because, and the reason that topic is gonna be on fear is because I'm listening and hearing fear from every direction of my life. Mm -hmm. I am learning about it in, in books <laughs> and in scripture and in everything. So I thought there's, that's the one that, that is touching me. And, and with Jane Ann um, and Anne, I, I mean, and um, Ellen, 
I think that they probably will be doing the same thing. I think that God speaks to a prophet in that kind of a way. Um, and so we'll be doing that. And I think we'll have fun. I think we'll have spontaneous um, jokes and laughter and things that, that has happened in our life that you won't be able to believe, but it's it's hilarious. And and, um, and the sad things in our life that that have happened that that maybe um, maybe I wouldn't have made it through without Jane Ann and Ellen, uh, and how we do that, how we create our friendships, and how yeah. um, how we spend time with each other, uh, because in this busy world, we're not able to do that. Every now and then, maybe we have to text each other. Maybe we have to to call because we're frantic. Um, there's so we're going to share, I think, life. And the most important thing is um, how God has given us wisdom. Women, we are women of wisdom. And that's, that'll be um, what I think. Now, what do you think, Jane Ann? How I'm, do you I'm, Yes, I'm gonna piggyback on that. And I was in the shower getting ready for this and I <laughs> thought of something really cool that, Ellen, I know that you have a daughter in real estate, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then Jocelyn's in real estate. And I thought one time, maybe down the road, but come with the wisdom is then how, you know, how we've imparted that to our children. And um, June, even with your daughter being a teacher, but how our children could, how walking in wisdom and integrity in today's workforce and what that looks like and how that has blessed them, how that's, you know what I'm yes. saying? Am I, am I, yes. Am I, is that, I mean, I was had the thought in my mind, I'm like, you know, because our daughters are out in the workforce and I know that Jocelyn really, you know, she does walk with integrity when it comes to the real estate and there's so many opportunities to not walk in integrity. Yes. Well, so I think even that, maybe we could do something like that with at some point in time, but also just like you said, life and how we have grown in our relationship and what that looks like and like, you know, I'm in agreement with that and how um, we can call each other more frantic or email or text and how we have, because we've been doing it this for what, five years that we've been friends and now that we're just now getting to this point, which I think is just amazing. <laughs> and I don't know, I just uh, I like life. Life, I like that. We're gonna have, um, I was gonna say that Jane Ann was the brains behind doing podcasts. I was voting for radio, but it's kind of fun to see <laughs> them. And then we don't interrupt each other because we see they're, they're still talking, which is my big thing. But I do wanna say also that along with life, we'll have some guests come on according to the topic, some here and there. But we always found on radio that having more than three is a lot. So we have a guest, one of us will be less the talker. You know, we'll just be that we want to or may have the day off. So we want to have a great show each week quality for you all. And um, now I think we should tell because uh, we had a little list of things we we're going to go over a little bit about ourselves. Like I was going to say, uh, let June go first. How many children we have and and then like like what we you know where we come from, like kind of like I'm a cradle Catholic or whatever. So June. OK. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am 73 and I'm proud of that. And I have wrinkles. <laughs> Not proud of that. <laughs> um, I, 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 I want you to know that, so, that um, I have always been a mother type, always have been that. Um, and that uh, I am uh, Catholic, charismatic, Christian. I have five children, four children, <laughs> four children. I lost one. Um, and uh, that, uh, it was uh, a, a stillbirth. I had, um, I have children who um, have ADD um, dyslexia. They've had a lot of learning problems, but they are pretty successful. Um, the, the one child that I have is, uh, is, is dealing with a lot of health issues, my youngest, um, and I'll probably share some about that. Um, I'm married for 54 years. Um, he's, uh, his name is Claude and, uh, 
and he has to deal with me because I'm a strong personality. <laughs> but God laughed when he gave him to me because he's stronger than me. <laughs> um, and uh, I will talk uh, about, uh, you know, how important it is in marriage to have forgiveness and uh, to, um, to, to let things go. Uh, and to accept them the way they are. Um, men are pretty good about accepting us where we are. We kind of want our men to be perfect. <laughs> and we have to work on that. Um, I, uh, I like to write. I have a blog, uh, com. And people that are wounded, that's something that's very deep in my heart. People that uh, think they're not... You know, there's issues in life where some people um, get mistreated and, and that's that's when I begin, that's when I'll write. Um, and uh, I just recently, because of Ellen, because of God, because of God. <laughs> I'm writing for, for um, CatholicMom.com <laughs> and, um, and I'm working on becoming a contributor for them. So... Um, I guess I'll probably be running for president if I'm friends with Ellen in the next <laughs> <That's right>. five <laughs> years. <laughs> so if God I'll says it, we'll politics. believe it. That's cute. <laughs> and I think that's enough. I don't think I need to say any more. Through the time, you'll learn more about me. <laughs> well, we love you, June. I wanted Jane Ann to say something because Jane Ann is going to probably have to leave. Are you going to have to leave on the dot on three, Jane Ann, or no? Yes. Okay, so you what? go. I should have had you go first. Please forgive me. I didn't think. I looked at the clock. And I'm like, oh no. Go ahead. Hi, okay. Jane. I am. I'm, I'm 51, and uh, my husband and I have 11 children, and we've been married 25 years. And um, I'm like June. God had really a sense of humor because I was the least. We were the least likely candidates to ever be chosen to have 11 children. <laughs> Um, and I grew up, like Ellen said, I grew up in Alabama and, um, also I have homeschooled for 18 years and I'm continuing to homeschool, but not all. I have some in, uh, school and I have seven, I have currently nine living at home and I have a newly married daughter with a, we have a grandbaby, a little boy. And let me see. Yes, I guess that's the same with me. You'll learn a lot, um, a lot about myself, I guess, with a lot of the things that have happened that um, my life is pretty much a miracle with my marriage and my children and God's redemption and his grace and mercy. And praise God, they're new every morning. Um, so I guess that's really just, you know, kind of sums up me. I mean, and I'm starting a blog. Yay. <laughs> there, I'm getting there. I've been working on it. She's been busy. So I'll have, uh, hopefully I'll have it up by next, thir by next, uh, are we doing this on Friday? No, not Friday, either Thursday or Tuesday afternoon. We have to ask June, but I didn't have time. So our introductory show will be a little bit casual. I'm getting it. I'm getting everything set up. So anyway, um, so I just, I praise God. I just, I'm glad to be here. And both June and Jan have done TV with me at WBPI TV, bringing the Catholic girls on the station in North Augusta. Shout out to Dorothy. Um, I was gonna say a little about myself, but before I do, Jan says you have to leave. Say, uh, say, tell us your favorite scripture or catechism uh, quote that you would like to share. Because someone thought of that on introductions. I think it's important to say, this is what I really, is my very favorite. Okay, I never got to say also that I'm Catholic, but I've also was Protestant and then, you know, grew up Catholic, went Protestant, now I'm Catholic. But anyway, um, Hebrews 11, 7, and let me check on that because I think that's the address where it says God rewards those who diligently seek him. That's okay. my, that, that would be my staying scripture right now. And we didn't say June, do you want to say your, oh, I'll give you your favorite after I say a little bit about myself. My yes. name is Ellen Mongan. I always like doing media because one day I read about the saints. And it was St. Thomas that started the Daughters of St. Paul. 
And he said, if St. Paul were alive today, he would do media, he would write books, he would go on radio and TV to get the word out in a way that only, you know, we feel like only women can do. We're doing this show because we feel like women like to laugh out loud. Some days are really hard. So I do media for that reason. I've had him on that show. We haven't been on lately. I also do, did radio with June at Miscarriage Matters Radio. We were the, well, we were like the three musketeers. We had Marla on and also one <laughs> L, four Musk, the Fantastic Four we became. And we love that show as well. And we just wanted to do something different. We could mention more of our heart. And so about, more about different topics than just miscarriage. We shout out to Esther Stanford. And we love that show as well. I'll be all watch in. So my, I, have, I have, as I said, I have 11 children. I was going to be lying on TV. I have seven children, a baby in heaven. That was full term. I'm married to Deacon Dr. Pat Mongan, who is actually um, sitting here helping us with electronics. And um, the other thing I do is write for Catholic Mom as a blogger or a contributor. And I write for, um, let's see, Elizabeth Ministry International. And a shout out to all those. And lastly, I do write for the newspaper in my town, Augusta Chronicle. I got switched over. So I thank the Lord for all I do. I do all by the grace of God. You know, I, I really, on my own, I always go, I don't have a title. I don't have a degree. I do all by his grace, by grace. I think it's all grace anyways. So... Jan, Jan, I love the show. When you have to go, you, t you you want to say a final word before you go, and then I'll June do her scripture. You want to say your final word? Um, no, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? I'm, I'm like, listening to you. This is so new for me, so I'm like, really? I mean, I, I'm paying attention to so many things right now. It's like my mind is like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. It's just like I'm kind of overwhelmed. Actually, Wait, okay, that's what you see. The, we'll see the rewind. We can see where we made our mistakes. Like June yeah. said, we learn. I really right. want to touch it and see and hear myself and and yes. you know I guess that would be my final word is that you know I just I'm gonna meditate on, on some more things and I do have a list of stuff that I you know so wait so I'm, I'm changing thoughts so when we do it next week we'll all be on and then June is the leader, she'll leader. Be and we, we don't have to introduce I don't think do you think if this goes well we, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, if this goes well, this will be our introductory tape. If not, we'll retape. The very next will be an introduction. But if it does go well, if this sounds okay, y'all be hearing us live. If not, we'll be redoing this next week into the same kind of order. Y'all look at the tape and see, and we'll vote. How's that? Okay. Okay. Is that okay? I mean, because I don't know. We don't know if it's going to be good. <laughs> but those who are you listening, if you're watching this live, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't not watching this at all, it was uh, one of our, we learned by our mistakes. Go June. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. <laughs> okay. Well, I will, um, I'm going to cut off now because I'm going to go pick up the kids. So the children. So um, then I guess we need to practice. Okay. And then yes. June, do you want to close with a scripture you like and I'll close with what I like? Um, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, I don't know where the scripture is. I need to learn that. I need to learn the, the you know, where it's, that is. It's a That's good my one. favorite. It's my favorite too. But I, mine, is, mine is actually different than that. I used to ask people all the time, what's your favorite scripture? And you can learn so much from someone. Because my scripture was, um, delight in the Lord, and it'll give you the desire of your heart. And then there one day is. I learned... I thought it was kind of a selfish scripture, you know, like well, I want the desire of my heart. And I, well, I learned through much prayer that when you delight in the Lord, he is the desire of your heart. And then you go, okay, that was a trick scripture. <laughs> delight in the Lord and it'll give you the desire of your heart. My friend had a, a scripture that was like, like, um, all, you know, all I wanted is to know Jesus Christ or something way more, you know, on the other, you know, on God. So I just thank the Lord that we always have a favorite one going right now. Mine is being not afraid. So so, Jude, you want to close the show and say some something, something laughter or tears or cute or brilliant? You know, what I'd like to say at the end is, is um, you have to conquer fear to have a new beginning. Mm -hmm. And nothing like new beginnings with the Lord are as exciting as conquering that fear and just going for it. And that's my closing thing. Anybody else? I want to say something about Jan Ann's picture. Jan, you say something. I want to show your picture. Your picture in the background. I guess I'll push your button. Here you go. You're up there. Jan has in her background a picture of a flower opening up. 
It's not closed uh -huh. and it's not dead. It's not, it not, it's not withered and it's not, um, it's not been picked. It's a flower that opens and we meet Jesus. We're like a little seed and all the other people that know Christ, they keep watering the seed and standing by us and weeding and, and pruning. And then as we grow and mature, we become the, the flower and we begin to open up just like the mustard seed becomes a great tree. So we, each woman, I've been told like by one of my friends that also is the prophetic gift. She said that, you know, all of us are different flowers. That doesn't make one flower prettier than the other or better or all our flowers in God's kingdom. And when you put all the flowers together, it's a thing of beauty. And I just couldn't help but notice your flower, Jane Ann, and go like, that was a great background for you. Because Jane Ann is a precious flower to me. And June, I, I just thank the Lord for this show. And I pray it goes on the air and that we did good and we can see it live. Otherwise, next week, okay. I'll be texting. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.